You must never do it on your own. You must always depend on the leadings and instructions of God because he knows the beginning, the center and the end of everything. You can never get it right if you decide to tour on your own. God always speaks to us, but sometimes we're too busy to allow the emotions and feelings to take the lead. Pay attention and discern for what God is saying before venturing. Know whether he's asking you to proceed or wait a little while. God speaks through signs and through this way, he would communicate to you to hold on or wait a little longer before that answer is released. And one thing we should ask for is the grace to understand and watch out for these signals and signs so that when we get them, we would not be devastated or confused on what to do and what not to do. I ask that God give us his wisdom. Amen. God is God. He answers all prayers, but there are times when he wants you to wait a little longer because he has a better plan for you. So, when this time comes, we should wait because it is for our good. We will discuss six signs that God wants us to wait and by the help and grace of God, we will not just listen through, but put them into action in our personal lives. But before we begin, I want to say this. Please know the way God speaks to you. Your communication with God should be strong so that you will be able to get the signal he sends you. Number one, silence from God. This is very common and it's very important. You sometimes notice that when you're waiting on the Lord, you keep waiting and sometimes you get no answer. You tend to feel discouraged in most cases, but at that point, you get the sense or feeling the fire to continue waiting. This is a sign many people overlook and it's very dangerous. At this point, after getting that fire or feeling to keep praying, do not stop or push it away because this is the time where you receive and get more answers. This is a sign from God to you to just keep waiting because he has something better for you and it would not just come. So you have to remain in that place of prayer. When you're about to begin on a relationship and have been calling on God, but it seems as though he's silent, it's a sign from him that you should hold on and keep praying. He has not given the go ahead for you to proceed with that relationship. Keep waiting and praying. So when we're waiting, we should not miss the signal because it carries something great. Let the signal of our spiritual antenna be strong and sensitive to hear from the Lord. Number two, confusion. Sometimes when praying, you do not get a clear yes or no, and you get confused because you have more than one option to pick from or make. These options might be sensible and very convincing to move with, but you are in between the two and don't know which one to go with. And then you begin to ask yourself, if I go with this, it will yield results. But what if I go with the other? It will also be good and maybe yield better results. Which should I go with? I just cannot pick from the two. Should I go with both? But it's not possible to work with the two. Confusion and chaos set in and no confirmation in the action you want to take. While at the edge and not sure whether to go ahead with the relationship, it is a way God is communicating to you to wait. You must not enter any relationship confused. Keep praying until the confusion ends. This is a clear sign from God that you should keep waiting and praying because God is not the author of confusion and we should know this. God's plan comes with affirmation and not confusion. He will be very clear to you and not let you go through the stress of choosing which is better or best because he will do that for you when you continue in the waiting. So, when we're waiting on the Lord and confusion creeps in, it just means that you should keep praying, holding on and wait longer because he knows what is best for you and he will surely give you the best. Number three, no peace. When waiting on the Lord and you think you have done all that is necessary but do not feel the sense of peace and a feeling of constant restlessness, this is another sign from God that you should hold on to. You pray but deep down there is no peace of mind, no satisfaction. Just keep praying and waiting. Let us also establish this fact. God's plan comes with peace, joy and grace. 
So when you pray and your prayers has been answered, you feel peace in your heart. And it's the opposite when he wants you to keep waiting. So, we should be sensitive to this sign. It seems irrelevant and insignificant, but the loss of peace is very dangerous, so don't rush out of the waiting. He will direct you. Number 4. Closed Doors and Failed Plans This is another sign God uses to tell you to continue waiting on Him. When you are expecting something from God and you begin to stray away, you feel like you have waited for too long and turn to your ways. He will have to shut those doors you're looking at. What I mean is this. When you begin to see closed doors and failure in the plans that you make, it's a way of God to tell you to hold on, do not be in a hurry, wait for Him. Some people, after waiting on God without getting the response they want at the time, they want it, begin to source for answers from other places. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12 says, There is a way that seems right to a man, but in the end, it leads to death. So he will do anything possible to stop you from going astray and walking into death and destruction. Number 5. Delayed Answers When waiting, sometimes you experience delay in your answer from God. It might be a sign from God to make you remain in the place of prayer and waiting a little longer. Do not misunderstand this. God is not a God of delay, but sometimes He holds back His response so that you will give Him more attention and focus on Him. He sometimes does this to purify you. We are human and we cannot be flawless. We might be wrong in some ways and there might be sin in us that we fail to perceive. So he will hold back his response to prune, mold and polish you, so that these petty things will not stand as a hindrance to our season of celebration. Just keep waiting and hold on, because he wants you to get the best. Number 6. Counter-Revelation or Prophecy Sometimes, when we're waiting on God and you feel like you have done all that is needed, and maybe through a dream or other means, you see yourself losing it. This is not a time to relent and say, you lost, or a time to lose hope and start doubting. This is a sign from God to let you know that you need to persevere more and remain in the place of prayer, waiting on God. Maybe in a spiritual realm, you may have given some space to the devil to carry out his plans and destroy the good plan the Lord already has in store for you. God wants you to hold on to Him in prayer and not rush in making any decisions. This should not be dealt with lightly. Hear this from C.S. Lewis in conclusion. I am sure that God keeps no one waiting unless He sees that it is good for Him to wait. So, when He gives us these signs and in others to wait, we should wait faithfully.